please don't forget to like and subscribe to help the channel. The year 1267. War hung in the air, its scent palpable. The mighty empire of Nilfgaard stood poised, greedily eyeing the northern realms just across the Yamuga. In light of the threat, the realm sovereigns met in summit. They made declarations, pledged fraternal assistance, forged alliances, and then, in good spirits, dispersed. Among them, Neve, queen of the twin realms Lyria and Rivia. Know the name? Hmm? Heard her beauty extolled? <laughs> Justly so. Remarkable she was. Not for her graceful exterior, but for her persistence and courage. Where was I? Ha! Ah. As the Queen and her retinue neared her capital, Count Caldwell appeared. In Meave's absence, the Count was to have helped her son, the youthful Prince Willem, run the Twin Kingdoms. Caldwell had clearly ridden hard. Drops of perspiration dangled from his whiskers, his neck red and chafed from a rough, starched stiff. Hail, Your Majesty! Delighted to see you in good health! The summit, it ended fruitfully, I hope? Yes, at its end, letters were exchanged, documents signed, paper. Time will tell of what value. That will suffice as cordialities go, Caldwell. Tell me what's happened, for I sincerely doubt she a longing prompted you to ride out. Indeed, Your Grace. Another circumstance inspired me to do so. <clears throat> The strays of Sparla, the bandits, I was attend to during Your Grace's absence. The situation's gotten out of hand, I fear. Steady, Caldwell. Come now. Deep breath. All right, speak. What has happened? Be precise. As Your Grace ordained, I set out and was nipping at the bandits' tails for long. We pursued for weeks, until scouts returned, having sighted the strays camp in the forest near Lockeran. We waited for nightfall, to surprise them as they slept. Uh, alas, it proved a ruse. We found the tent empty. Straw stuffed dummies round the fire. Soon, we learned that as we waited for the sunset, the strays had snuck away, rounded our positions and ridden to Hawksburn. I beg your pardon, my lord. The tax collectors. That is where they station. So the gold? All of it? Uh, it's stolen, Your Grace. But I shall do all in my power to recover it. This I vow. If it be Your Grace's wish. After weeks in the saddle, Your Grace's wishes are modest. A hot bath and a night's sleep in her own bed. Yet, they shall have to wait. I must look personally to this matter. Your force, Caldwell, I will now command. You... Send a herald to Hawksburn. They must prepare for the Queen's arrival. Air the rooms, dust off the porcelain. Make certain they do it. Do you see now, Reynard? I believe I foretold it would be thus. My son wasn't ready in the least to rule an entire country. I confess, Prince Willem has much to learn yet. Hmm. Yes. And very little time. Thought it were bandits riding. Milka, 
They stretched her over a fire till she told him where she buried her gold. Rather die than tell him she would. But I know where. She... Count Caldwell rode at the column's head, scanning its flanks with a wary eye that Men await. You must lead to begin the attack. Ah, you're a little... salt of the earth, they are, Your Grace. They'd follow you into fire. You need simply say the word. Teach you to respect the crown, you dogs! Bombarded! What? Who dares? Abolista, your command. <laughs> this strays took tail and run. <laughs> yes! Not yet done. It is better to conserve our strength. Prepare for a strike that will prove decisive. Battle formation! Protect the Queen! This harvest will be reaping black clad heads. Thank you. 
thing about slings, they hide well. My spirit's willing and how, but these damn boots are killing me. We'll catch them all! I'm a monster. I congratulate you on your latest victory, Yigo. <clears throat> Matters seem indeed to have gotten out of hand, to put it mildly. Meave said, arms crossed atop her shining. Ah, oh, I do adore this prospect. Yes. Lyria, the Pearl of the North, with its hills and dales. Why, its beauty matched only by that of its queen. After three weeks in the saddle, I've my doubts, Count. We shall pitch camp here. Our soldiers need respite. A spell of it they deserve. A bit of respite, Reynard. Uh, yes. But if you've any new orders, Your Grace, I can be ready at any... At ease, Reynard. At ease. Alas, I've come... A harsh judgment, Your Grace. ...and is thus fully grown. Yet I left the land in his care for but a few months, and look what... We might yet learn of mitigating... Would that it were so, Ray. Don't you find it wearisome, sis? Your concern, I most appreciate... Has it always been thus with you? Quite the contrary, Your Grace. So what was it that changed you? That delight nearly cost me my head. I don't. I had but twenty winters behind me when I enlisted. Yet I was granted the rank of left to earn that respect became my driving aim. And to seem wise beyond my years, I began... 
talk of that nature could on. It was not long before I was clanking about in shackles. Another off the court martial took the debut. Reginald first stayed the execution. Then ordered that I repeat every word I'd uttered about his put. Reginald listened, raptly and silently. Indeed. It was then I swore two things. Firstly, never again to wag. And you never did. Know what he took. I thank you for sharing that tale. It's time I attended to other. Is this what I pay taxes for? To be robbed along the high road? And in broad daylight, no less? Were it not for mandatory merchant routes and stacking rice, why I'd have gone round, through Sodden. They told me, they told me. Is this what I pay taxes for? Gods of mercy! Whatever is this filth? Necrophages. Drawn here by blood scent. For such vile monstrosities to prowl the high roads of my realm. I won't allow it! Attack! Daylight with the heat positively sweltering. Raylan, what is this? Some spectre? A strigger? I can't be sure, Your Grace. It's the first I've seen of any such thing. This artist will be reaping black clad heads.
These carrion eaters. I know them. Fierce and they look true. But they bleed just as we do. Onward! Slay the filth! Willing and how the these damn boots are killing me. Your Grace, yet more come. They fill their bellies, ma. This doesn't bode well. One boat. Give me a time. the steers they've grown and they show no fear frenzied my lady it's bloodlust they lose all instinct to survive my queen the Ours now. We shall not retreat. Look there! Yet another abomination. Oh, that stench! My salts! Where are my salts? Is to your command. Links will bring us victory. The beasts hadn't a chance against us. Victory is out.
Many trees we felled, Malay. They call themselves straight. Lady, the Your Majesty, uh, to raise it. Thank you. Soon, Queen and retinue arrived at Hawksburn. The men stationed there they found standing at attention baking under the blistering noonday sun. Your Majesty, Count Caldwell. Stand at ease, Sergeant, and report. The local peasants we've rounded up in the yard, Your Grace. Expect they might have lent the bandits aid. Yet our courtesy and inspired Might it please Your Grace to summon the hangman? He ties a noose for them, should have them jabbering right quick. I'll speak to them first. Your Majesty. For the Queen to question commoners, why, it's simply not proper. Whom for? I shan't be stripped of crown and titles for it, so no impediment do I see. Lead me to them. Bow low for your sovereign, Her Majesty, Queen Meave of Lyria and Rivia. Her mercy, Your Grace. We bear no guilt, we simple folk. Calm your hearts, good folk. Though your queen I may be, you are subjects, not slaves. Meave extended a hand, the royal ring gleaming upon it. Unfamiliar with protocol, a pleb gripped it firmly and gave it a shake as hearty as a good scrub in the tub. My, we shall be addressing one another by name afore long. This is an outrage! Guards, grab him! I've all in hand, Caldwell. Forgive me, Your Grace. I'm not accustomed, no how. Nonsense. You've a firm grip, a spry handshake, and a bold spirit I can respect. What do they call you, man? Helmer. Son of Florence. Delighted, Helmer. Now understand me, man. I am in dire straits and in need of your aid. So please, answer my queries in The bandits. Whom do they follow? Him, my lady. We've seen him. No name, just an odd title. The Duke of Dogs, they call him. My. A blue blood thoroughbred mutt. Where are he and his hounds bound? Did he say? That recall, Imogen? What do you name? A Gleaton or something? Clayton. Lord Clayton. His estate lies to the south. Sound the horns. Have the men form up. We march at once. Milady, Arbor no ayah for the Duke. He's a good man. Gave us proper brass for the welcome we gave him. Shared what grub he had. Shut it, louts. The Queen's had her say. Your Grace, your orders. What are we to do with them? The Duke of Dogs fed you, so you've strength enough to carry arms. And as he gave you coin, you've no need of pay from the realm's coffers. Sergeant, all men of 15 summers or more will join our ranks at once. They'll serve five years. No, milady, no! T Tis mere weeks to harvest. Who'll tend to fields? Meave set off toward Lord Clayton's estate at a gallop, her mouth oh. knocking the peasants aside as it kicked up a cloud of dust. The folk of Hawksburn spoke of the royal visit long after, 
albeit ever behind closed doors and in hushed tones. What is this, Reynard? Bandits attacking royal tax collectors. What is it? Look out! Rock slide! The bluff crumbles! Your Grace! The wagon, we can use it as cover. Forward, we must move it forward. What now? You're far fewer than I presume. Summon your comrades, damn it. Chop, chop, before I reach for my whip. Give me a time. Abolista, your command. <laughs> I'm a war, sir. The wagon! Use the wagon now! <sighs> We've come through, Reynard. I thank you. The walls of the temple collapsed. The buttress is doubtless damaged by something. Or someone. There's nothing we can do here. A peasant cart, loaded with a heap of hay, came rattling down the road from the opposite direction. Clear! Out to the east, down Wetterton Way, lies a boneyard, old as the elves, they say. The peasant the queen whistled, and her mare resumed its trot. Shall I send for a witcher, your grace? Caldwell asked. One of those... 